I'm at Obscura Digital to see technologies that could someday make traditional film and television look as old-fashioned as a penny arcade. Behind this nondescript door, the technologies of tomorrow are being developed today. This place is electronic eye candy land. I don't know what half this stuff is or how it works, but I know I like it. What's going on, brother? The Willy Wonkas of Obscura are creative director Travis Thruckle and CEO Patrick Connolly. We're in this gorgeous studio warehouse here in San Francisco. Uh, what kind of clients do you guys have? We're kind of a, an interesting company. We're a hybrid sort of marketing firm uh, and R&D lab. So we help our clients sell products, really. R&D on what? On uh, mostly on advanced video sort of technologies. We kind of all had audio backgrounds, and so we knew there was this surround sound thing that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We're like, well, what if we could do surround video? Holodeck style stuff. So we yes. actually, yeah, so we figured that out. So we figured out how to, how to actually put people inside of video environments. Patrick's crew of 45 scientists, engineers, and artists can light up a building or a dome or just about anything with videos and graphics that used to be trapped in your computer, and you can interact with it. Basically turning anything into a website, and that's a pretty big deal, and that coffee table can become a website. Furniture accessing the web? I want to live in the Obscura house. Nice TV. Hey, thanks, man. We like it. Uh, it's a little more than that, though. This is one of our, uh, our multi-touch walls. Okay, hold on, hold on for a second. All right, my mind is being blown in a couple separate uh, directions right now. This is obviously multi-touch, and it's just uh, touchscreen technology, and I feel like I'm watching Minority Report. This is like Tom Cruise, like, working on that interface. Sure, it's a little bit of it. You're not just doing this with photos. I mean, this is like streaming video, and yeah. more than one video. As many as you want. I saw tech like this in Quantum of Solace, but it's not just for secret agents anymore. Can you explain how it works? Uh, well, some of it's a secret, but uh, basically it is, it is based off of infrared light. It's actually pretty simple. Um, it's using uh, the process of total frustrated internal refraction of infrared light. So it basically takes a 780 nanometer spectrum of infrared and notches it out. Okay, I thought I was fluent in geek, but I'm totally lost. I'm I, kidding. I, 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 no, I was, was going to say, whew. Okay, here's the real simple explanation. Basically, there's a, a, a plane of infrared light in the front of the screen. Okay. Um, and as my fingers touch it, it breaks the plane. Okay. And there's cameras behind it that use infrared filters to pick that up. The camera feeds that info back to the computer, and that's where things get really interesting and top secret. The very complex part is then how to have that data manipulated in real time at this speed. That's where, <laughs> that's where the secret sauce lies. Somehow, they've managed to amp up the multi-touch screen software used in phones and computers. Patrick isn't going to give me the secret code, but he will let me play with it. Do it. All right. It's cool with videos. Wow. It's just nuts that the video is streaming, and it doesn't matter what angle we're looking at it, and it never stops, and it never loses resolution. And, OK, I'm done with that video. Goodbye. But you can kind of roll through them as fast as you can, too, which is kind of neat. <laughs> Wow, you're good at this. Uh, you know, I have one. I own one, so I'm allowed to be. I can totally see this tech in CIA or MI6 headquarters, or in my house, geeking out with long-distance friends. Now I'm drawing on it. Yep, so there's a draw button down here. And then, as soon as you take the draw button off, the drawing will stay with the, uh, the actual image. I could have one of these walls here, you could have one at your house, and as I'm doing something and you're doing something, yeah. they're both being mirrored. If this is what the future of home computing looks like, I could easily end up a crazed, shut-in cyber hermit. This stuff feels like it's out of, you know, science fiction. I think that, you know, everyone grew up watching Blade Runner and Tron and all the, you know, the standard stuff, and so I think we're all of that generation that wouldn't it be cool if. And back then it was all kind of science fiction in camera, but you know, now we can actually do it. And this tech isn't just cool. It has practical applications. As you start looking at other potential applications, things like uh, medical imaging come to mind. What if your doctor could get inside a CAT scan or MRI and poke around? This could be the world's best cheat sheet for a surgeon in the middle of an operation. This is a touch screen, but we've also written the same thing where you don't have to touch it. So it's sensor-based. So think about that. You're a doctor. You're in the operating room. 
You just do that. So you don't have to take your gloves <laughs> off, the whole thing. He can literally zoom in, move around, see the heart, whatever we want to do. Dude, that's nuts, though. You know, a lot of the stuff that I've seen has been uh, technology from the world of science, our, you know, industry, uh, that has been appropriated by the film and television industry to do creative things. It seems here at Obscura, it's going in the opposite direction. I mean, you guys are coming from a very creative standpoint, but you're thinking about how it can be used in other industries like medical and science.